Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I'm going to talk about installing this guy on the uh, Alpha Y. So I designed this, and this will probably work on various printers, not just the Alpha Ys. Uh, however, what happens is this mounts to the uh, gantry, and if you have you know, like, uh, you know, two, three millimeter lead screws, what have you, you can use this to attach this and then attach an action cam to the bottom of this. Now, uh, with this action cam, one of the things you'll notice is upside down because one of the things I want is the lower profile of the lens coming into the bed. The second thing is I want to be able to have access to the ports on this side to plug in a USB cable. So I simply go into the firmware and tell it to invert the image and it comes out fine. Uh, the idea on the Alpha Wise, the way I will mount this is um, actually on the uh, X um, uh, end stop or limit switch. And so it's got two bolts that, that are coming out. And what I'll do is I'll add a couple three millimeter bolts to extend that. So anyhow, let's head over to the Alpha Wise, install this, and see how it all works. Okay, so we're going to start by removing the X uh, limit switch bracket. And uh, I want to power this down a second so I can move that. So I'm going to move that back away. So I'm just using a 2.5 millimeter hex driver to remove this. And should come off just like this, just like downtown the David Whitney building. Now when we turn this over, what we'll do is we'll expose, um, again, make sure I get this in here, two more... Um, M3s. So these are shorter M3s. I think they're about maybe 10, 10 millimeters. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace these with longer ones, but what we're going to do is remove them. Now, one of the things to note, uh, this is the offset of this switch is actually this white connector here. So this is what shims it out from, from the back of it. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a little bit longer M3. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take these a little bit longer M3s, insert them in here, and then actually start placing them into the metal bracket. Now that I've got these tightened down, you notice they stand a little bit proud of the metal bracket. So what I'll do is I'll take these 3 millimeter brass offsets and I'll go ahead and screw these on here. And now this gives me an offset for my bracket. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bracket and I'm going to use a couple, I think I can probably get away with some of the existing ones. Uh, I might have to go a little bit longer because I want to place a washer on the outside of them. Let's see if that'll give me enough room. Yeah, that might still give me enough room. So before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remount the uh, motor bracket onto here. Okay, we now have this remounted. Uh, actually, one of the things, I had picked the wrong uh, bolt the last time, so these should be plenty long enough. Uh, I had used one of the ones for mounting, which are the shorter bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my first one. And just, I'll thread this into the... Uh, opening, and actually these might end up being a skosh too long. I might have to use shorter ones. Matter of fact, uh, let's see if I can use these first. And it's going to depend upon, the length of this is going to depend upon your brass um, shims or whatever you want to call these things. Yeah, that, that should be good. Because I want to reuse as much as I possibly can. So the one piece that you can do is you can... Uh, now adjust this up or down based upon, um, you know, where you want your camera positioned. So I want to move this over a little bit. There's a little bit of give in this uh, whole bracket. So we have that. Now I'm going to 
pull out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Then what I'm going to do is now go ahead and I'm trying to work around this camera's uh, the camera I'm filming on is a little bit difficult. So now I've got this mounted and uh, you can also angle the camera a bit uh, if you want. And so now this is set up and mounted. Let's check it from a different angle. So again, here you can see what's going to happen is the uh, gantry raises. This is going to sort of match the height and then we now have this angle very much down onto the uh, or towards the bed area. So the way that it's going to capture is, is sort of my build here. So I find this very interesting. Now I will have uh, run some um, overlays up in the corner so you can see kind of how this comes out. But I really like this idea. I might make some modifications. There is a little bit of give here. I don't know how much that's going to play in. And I can definitely bring this up a little bit more. And I can also move this in a little bit more. So I might make some modifications before I put the end model up on, on Thingiverse. But uh, all in all, I think this is a pretty good idea. And again, you can mount different size cameras, that kind of stuff on here. Uh, I can, again, because I can get at the um, USB port here, I can use this as a webcam, or I can use this as a, you know, regular action cam and record internally. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this. I'll have this uh, uh, file out on Thingiverse, so the link will that be down below. And uh, don't forget the swag shop up there. And we'll see you guys in the next video when we build something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.